Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley P. Deck. If you're tuning in for the first time, thank you if you are tuning in, by the way. So today I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial for you guys. This one does come courtesy of Ara Bella Hair. And I sent over this beautiful highlight lace wig. It's nice. It's beautiful it's long and voluminous so you know we're going to be putting in just a little light curl to this one we're also going with the bust down middle part and a little bit of baby hair but before we get into it go ahead and subscribe now let's jump into it okay ladies jumping right into it this is a look at the wig we're going with the closure wig so you see the cheesiness on my face i love me a good closure wig especially a five by five closure a wig because you still get a really nice good parting space this is what the wig looks like off my head and this is what she looks like on so today we're rocking a balayage highlight body wave lace wig she is i believe 180 percent density and 26 inches in length this is what she looks like from the back. The body wave is definitely body waving. Highly, high key, I wish I would have just left it in its natural state. Added a little bit of mousse or serum and just kept it pushing. But we are going with curls today. So you'll see me do a little bit of a light layer and curl. So jumping into it, let's go ahead and part her as a center part. Typically, I feel like the go-to always is a center part on your closure wigs. You can also make a curved like parting or you can shift the wig to make a side part if you only want a slight off center part you don't gotta shift the wig you can definitely do some things but for me majority of the time if it's a closure we're going bust down center part so let's start off by doing the dynamic duo this is going to be the second step i like to go in and just add the wax all around that parting that we made this is going to cancel out frizz add a little shine and just really like help to press the hair you know when it was back in the day and they did the grease press this kind of is the same analogy to me it's not as greasy as using grease but um it definitely gives a good look and it you can see right here how like flat and smooth it makes it i highly recommend i don't care what texture i'm doing if you watch my videos you guys know i almost never skip this step even if the hair is like completely wet i'm still do this step i'm gonna stick beside it now that we have done this process and yes i do take my time on this i'm not the girl who like oh two heat passes no i'm gonna keep going until it looks exactly how i want it to look and now it looks exactly how i want it to look so let's go ahead and cut off the excess lace but first let's go ahead and tint the lace i think I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do first so I decided to just cut off the excess lace first for this one I did use an eyebrow razor this is going to give a jagged cut opposed to like a blunt straight across cut that's just going to add a little bit of camouflage so when the lace is pressed against your skin it kind of helps it to just not look like oh I see that lace right there when you're talking to somebody now let's go ahead and bond her down bonding her down is very simple this one pretty much fit glueless as you guys seen it wasn't lifted or bulky in the front at all so this is one of those things for me personally is like if i'm gonna wear a glueless wig i still like to like bond it down on the first day that first install it's kind of weird but like that product added onto that lace that way throughout the week i can just like take the wig off at night put it back on in the morning and it will like sit on my head first of all because it's glueless but it'll press in like i bonded it down because that stuff that product is still kind of like sticky on the hairline hopefully that makes sense after we did that i just added my melt belt added the melt belt and let that dry naturally this step is definitely easier when the wig already fits amazing if your wig is big, big and bulky you probably will want to go in and like blow dry it first to make sure it's set in place and it doesn't shift during the drying process but you know we had the luxury today now i went in with some curls now you guys no i cannot curl to save my life that's just a transparency moment i have purchased or i did purchase this t3 t3 curling iron through one of the nordstrom sales like during pandemic and i don't know what it is because the girls love the t3 curling iron maybe it's because i got the blue one but it just never gives the curls that i want to give and i'm the type of person if i curled this wig and it don't come out how i want it to i'm not going back in and curling it again i'm gonna try again tomorrow or the next day or the next day after that so that's the case here you guys can see i definitely feel like the curls could be much 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 better i highly recommend you wash your wigs just to begin with to give it like a fresh blow out when you're going to go for like a more straight or curled style from body wave but you you know we're gonna rock with what we got because in person this one still looked super fly now you guys see how beautiful the hairline is and how melted it looks all you really needed to do was just add a little bit of powder along the hairline and it melted 
seamlessly but you guys know i'm a little ghetto i'm a little ratchet so i did add my baby hair in there and i love the way that came out for me this gives more of a frontal vibe opposed to a closure vibe i did add some concealer along the parting i prefer my fenty over this one on the parting but i'm trying to go a little bit more subtle for you guys i like what i like but i do see and notice that a lot of the girls like a more subtle parting and not so highlighted like i like now I'm going to go in and add some layers. Again, this is just another step that I can definitely improve on as well. I went for long layers, but I should have did the layer all the way down where it kind of like, um, like graduated in a way, I guess you can say. I did these. Um, I could definitely go in and like make it shorter and make it more gradient. Again, I like the way it came out. I was cool with it. But if we're talking about perfection and all of that, these are just critiques I can make that maybe you can see. As far as the wig itself, it does come in a straight and a body wave. We have body wave and this is the final result. Okay, love bucks. So we are done with the look. I went for a bust down middle part with a little bit of baby hair. Now the baby hair is definitely optional, but I think it was a good complement to this look. So this one did come in a pretty wavy texture and I did go ahead and just put some flat iron curls in it. I didn't add any hairspray um, and I did make longer layers here. I kind of feel like the layers will look better like here but then I'm going to have to continue them all the way down. So I'm going to leave it for now but I do like the way the curls came out with the look of this one. I want to start practicing my curls more so that is why I did these today and plus I just felt like it could use a little um, extra stump because the hair is so long and beautiful but I wanted to keep it you know I wanted to keep the length and I wanted to keep like some kind of fun texture to it you can also send it behind the ear even though it is a closure wig you just go like that and you are good to go so if I did not mention, this is from Arabella Hair, and this is the dust bag. Love a good black and gold moment. Inside, you do have a little baggie. With the baggie, you get your wig caps. Oh, this is cute. A melt belt and with the, the name on it, and then it's in pink and black. A pair of lashes. This little gold and pearl little hair clip then you also get a baby hair brush so i definitely think this is going to be a really fun and cute vacation look be sure to let me know what you guys think of course i feel like this one is definitely stepping outside of the box typically when i do a highlight wig like this one i will go in and just do like more of like a no part look or vibe but i definitely like the way this one came out be sure to let me know what you guys think all the details to this one are in the description box. You can also follow me. Follow me on Instagram and subscribe to me here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Smooches.